Hey, good morning, Sparrows. Hey, before I uh, talk a little bit about this, these couple of verses that I'm going to lead us in together today, I just want to mention a, a couple other verses. I'm just aware sometimes that uh, for all of us, life is heavy. Life is really overwhelming sometimes, big, <laughs> feels bigger than us, and too much to bear. So I just want to read you like three little verses that I hope will speak, get into your heart. Um, first one is Matthew 11, 28 through 30. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, learn from me, for I'm gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. I pray that for all of us this morning. Also, Psalm 55, 22 Cast your burden on the Lord, and he will sustain you. It's God that enables us to get through. Lastly, it has to do with us with each other. Galatians 6.2, bear one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. We're to help each other carry the loads together. So may that just be some comfort. Thank you, Nick. Yes, you're welcome. So we're continuing through... Uh, the very beginning, really, the Sermon of the Mount, with it, which is chapters 5 through 7 in the book of Matthew. And we're just going to keep going through that. We did the Beatitudes. It was fun. Learned a lot about uh, what it means to be happy and living and what the promises are for those who practice the Beatitudes. Now, Jesus says this. This is Matthew 5, 13. You, you sparrows, each one of you, are the salt of the earth but if the salt loses its saltiness how can it be made salty again it is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot so it's kind of a curious thing that jesus says you are salt i am salt well what does salt do um you know when we have a nice maybe breakfast or something a lot of this will just throw salt on it well, why do we do that flavor right um so one of the things when jesus says you are the salt you are to be someone who whenever anyone is around you it brings flavor to their lives flavor to that situation well, what does that mean it means people feel like this is not ordinary anymore this is better this is good when you're around people are going life seems better jesus said you would be salt that way that's what people are to feel when you walk in a room. Um, it moves life from the ordinary to the extraordinary. Salt also, did you know salt is a preservative? It preserves things, keeps it from decaying and from rotting. Well, what does that mean that we're salt? Our world is a decaying, rotting world with a lot of evil in it. But there's a lot of God's goodness in it we are to be salt that preserves this goodness in every situation every relationship in our families we preserve goodness in our relationships so you're salt be salt and jesus said if you lose the salt hard to restore it again it's uh the idea is that you know either you are salt or you're not and uh if you're not and you're not practicing salt you, you lose all ability to be flavorful to other people to preserve any goodness so sparrows be salty this week okay jesus has one more thing he says he says um you are the light of the world now do you in john chapter 8 verses 12 jesus says i am the light of the world he who follows me will not stumble in darkness well, I have, a, I have no problem with that. Jesus is the light of the world. But me? He says, I am the light of the world. He says, you are the light of the world. And then he says this. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand. And it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your father in heaven. 
It's a dark world. A lot of darkness around us. A lot of darkness in relationships. Jesus says, you're the light of the world. And you are to bring light to everyone that is around you. Where they feel like, wow, this is great. I can see where I'm going, what I'm doing. I feel a lot more safe and secure. Well, how do you do that? Jesus says, it's by your good deeds. As you practice good deeds with others, in any kind of shape or form that will take place, helping them with a chore or giving them a compliment, whatever it might be, when you practice good deeds, you are light and it shines. And people are drawn to light, not to darkness. So be light. And he said, and Jesus says, when you are light in this world, you, it will bring glory to God, the father in heaven. In other words, it'll make people turn their attention towards God because of the light you bring into their lives. That's amazing. I want to be salt and I want to be light. Um, you know, the fact that Jesus says, you are the light of the world. Did you know the word Christian means little Christ? And so here's the, here's the incredible truth, everybody. If you have Jesus in your heart, in your life, you actually are a little Christ in this world, a little Jesus. And when people see you, they see light, they experience salt, and they turn to God because of you. May you be salt and light this week. Amen.